Hi, this is John Carlson with Pentax here in Golden, Colorado, and I'm here talking with Carrick James about the new 645D. Uh, Carrick is a working professional, shoots primarily uh, adventure travel in the American West and Pacific Rim, and he's had the enviable position of being the, one of the first photographers in the U.S. to shoot with the new 645D. Uh, Carrick's been shooting with Pentax for, for a long time, both our, our film medium format cameras and our digital cameras. Right. Yeah, I began my career shooting with uh, the 35 millimeter uh, screw mount bodies and moved up through 6x7, all the DSLRs, and when the 645D was announced, I immediately wanted to test it. And the opportunity to test this uh, in some of the locations that I've shot for years with this 6x7 was simply irresistible. Uh, more than half of my 200 book and magazine covers were shot with the 6x7, and uh, I had high hopes for the 645, and it's, it's exceeded them. Great, great. So what are your initial thoughts? It's a beautiful camera to work with. If you've shot with any of the Pentax DSLRs, like the K7, uh, the upcoming K5, uh, you're gonna love this. It's, it's a seamless transition uh, through the controls. Uh, the interface is, is very similar. And ergonomically, it's a beautiful design. It's, it fits my hand uh, perfectly. It's a very hand-holdable medium format camera. And how's it worked in the field for you so far? Uh, spectacular quality. Um, when I first brought the uh, images back and looked at, looked at them on a big screen, I just let out a howl. Uh, the quality was, uh, it just leaped off the screen. And uh, it's been, uh, it's just been an awesome camera to experience. Great, great. Now, obviously it's a very big camera and, mm. and that may be daunting to some people, but how how's that work for you in the field so far? It's really, it doesn't handle as big as, as it looks uh, because of the design. It fits uh, my hand. I don't have an extremely large hand, a, probably an average size hand, and it fits my hand very well. Of course, most of the time it's on a tripod, and so it's great to have these dual tripod sockets for vertical and horizontal orientation. Camera's weather sealed. Um, how's, how's that helped you out in the field? That has been a major boon. That's one of the things I've loved about the, uh, the DSLRs on the, on the test uh, uh, shoot that I had initially. I wanted to take this to some of the iconic Arizona locations I've shot for years with the 6.7 and compare some of the images. And when I shot in Antelope Canyon, the Slot Canyon, uh, when the wind blows uh, over the Slot Canyon, it sifts dust and sand down inside. So it's sealed against uh, sand pretty well, as I can testify. Um, obviously, it's all about the image quality. This camera's got a new 40 megapixel sensor mm -hmm. in it. Uh, how have how, how they pictures come out for you? Stunning. I, I had really, like I mentioned, high expectations for the camera in so many ways, but especially for the image quality. Uh, when you have that kind of sensor uh, matched up with these quality optics, you expect greatness, and you end up with a 226 megabyte 16-bit file. And you do your work in that, save to 8-bit, it's 113 megs, and that's more than sufficient for, uh, for any of my uh, markets, editorial and stock. And I also made uh, 40, uh, 30 by 40 inch test prints, uh, which are stunning. Now the ISO range on this camera is from 200 to 1600. In the grand scheme of things, that's, that's relatively limited. But has that, has that been acceptable for you? Has, has it worked for you? It's exactly what I need, especially for this camera. For landscape, of course, you're shooting at a lower ISO for ultimate quality, so typically I'm at 200, but I have tested it from 800 to 1600, and the, uh, you know, where you find noises in the shadows developing and uh, with all files, but it has not been uh, an issue with this camera. It, it's looked beautiful. Okay, you've got the, the new DFA 55 millimeter lens, weather sealed. Just right. like the camera, it's got the SDM focusing system, so it's silent autofocus. And then obviously you can use the, the older legacy mm -hmm. lenses with that. And, you know, how how's the 55 work for you? It's a beautiful lens. Uh, it handles perfectly. It's 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 such a tight lens, like all the uh, the SDM lenses are in the, the rest of the line. Uh, it's 2.8, so it's nice and bright. So, you know, in your few weeks you've been able to use this camera, how how would you sum it up? I love it. I love it. It's it's an expedition grade field camera. It's rugged. I love the weather sealed qualities of it. It's it's hand holdable. It's uh, there are no flaws that I can I can find so far at all, and the results have been uh, uh, just simply outstanding. If you'd like to learn more about the 645D or any Pentax camera, please visit PentaxImaging.com. Thank you.